now you guys are back in the oasis so you guys can choose to do whatever you want at this point like i said you guys came back and you've done your little crafting thing but you can go to gregor or lorna for any kind of a mission or you can wander about and do random fuckery wandering around or doing random fuckery sounds pretty good i assume i've already presented him the the bullet and like I figured that we were given a variety of options and the things that we could have done, and obviously I wanted to choose somebody who was semi-competent to be able to shoot it. I could have put it in a Gatling gun, I guess? I don't know exactly what that guy's deal is, but I don't trust him to hit the broadside of a barn, let alone a giant dragon. So you're our best choice right now. See. Okay. Well, I'll do what I can. So now that you have that in your inventory, like I said, you guys can run around and do random fuckery. Uh, you do have your fair share of random individuals and NPCs that are at the camp. So you could do random things with them if you wish, or you can do horrible, horrible things to other people because it's overdue for us doing that to somebody. I mean, I think I think from what happened last night, we're, we're, we're pretty good with that already. I think I could top myself very easily. You act like I didn't pair you off with the love of your life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, does Kate even know what happened? Oh, absolutely. She's okay. spread it everywhere. <laughs> she tell okay, everybody. So, the horror. Yeah, um, we, we've realized afterwards he did travel all the way back home, which was a three-day journey, clenched, so that he could specifically do it when he got to camp. The other thing you'll also have to remember, too, is you did drag the Umber Hulk body back with you to camp, so that is also there refuse out of principle to raise from the dead. I'm just letting it rot. I, I'm just saying that you have it because you chose to bring it with you. I Let's... should go find a pirate crew. We do have an exceptional amount of horse soldiers and, I mean, you could spend all that time trying to get back your uh, the money you lost to my skeletons somehow. Oh, yeah. By the way, you started playing poker with them again. You lost that 200 gold. This bullshit. So, perfectly in keeping with the game. Fantastic. I'm gonna go to Kermacles and uh, start like, I believe we should go and do something. Who the fuck did you start talking like that? I don't know. He's been doing it this whole time. <laughs> no one knows what he's doing. Well, alright, let's go. I think he may have brain damage. Just let him do it. Think? I mean, I can't be for certain unless you'd like to crack his head open. Which, I'm game. I'm down. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my freaking uh, dart blade and like just fucking like stare at him like you want to go, bitch? Like intimidate? Fight! 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 <laughs> fight. fight. Do you want to fuck this one too? Hey, no, we're related. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, no, no, that, that that even I'm gonna say that one's a little weird. Doesn't seem like my problem. Do you have to go to therapy? <laughs> Jokes on you! I'm already there. All right. Um. So what what were we doing? What are we, what where are we going? Why are we doing this? You said believe? you wanted to find a, a crew of some kind? Is that what it was? Yeah, we gotta go find the One Piece. Okay, you may have heat stroke. I will say that we did collect the 200 horse soldiers. Are you saying that we should look for, like, a naval element? Is, is that what I'm gathering? Why not? I mean, why not? Sure. The main issue being that we're headed north, which is landlocked. Is there a river? Does anybody know, is there a river that heads up north? There is not a river that runs directly from the north to the southern part of the continent. Right, is that just right. Lorna in the background? No! Read a Sky map! Skyboat. I I do magic working. I find me something and maybe I can help you, but uh, I don't know how to do that offhand. Do you? Ah, uh, no. Damn. You also have the unfortunate fact that if you do try to fly north, the dragon can also fly. Now, actually, that's not a terrible idea. Being in the air and having it come directly at us presents a much easier target than being on the ground and being burnt to a crisp. Do we have you any want... flying abilities in this group? I can turn you all into gas. There are a few creatures you have that can fly, including Raka's griffin and Cham's dragon. We need something that can uh, that is easily disposable, Although I don't give a shit about the paladin's weird bird thing, he probably would be cross, you know? And I've seen him tear someone's asshole out through their mouth. And as interested as I am, I don't think I'd like to have it happen yet. So are you going to roll an intelligence check to try and think of something? I'm asking these 
morons because I'll be honest I lived in a castle for the most I, I didn't go and do dirty peasant things if either of them know the area better than I would dirty peasant things wow oh. yes like leaving the castle and whatever you do illegal s- things. swimming <laughs> I assume I'm not sure not everyone can wake up and get a macchiato do they have macchiatos in this time period we made that cannon somehow okay I'm fine with this you know what? Fine. Uh, I'll roll. Uh, whoa. Oh, oh shit. Apparently, uh, I don't remember shit. Uh, I'll I'll roll my intelligence because Syro would have. Oh Jesus. God. Yeah. No. I'm I'm even less knowledgeable. So what specifically are you trying to decipher in in terms of like something that can make us fly? Which I think we could look towards gnomish tinkering if we want to find like a rocket or something, or maybe an animal of some kind, or maybe a pseudo intelligent species like. Lord of the Rings eagle, something that could... I'm gonna roll again. Mine and, uh, Kermitine's fucking, uh, years of being an assassin. We should know some shit. Wow, Fuck it. Third time's a yeah. charm! I'm, like, banging my noggin on, like, some kind of, like, on the fucking carriage, like, remember! Remember! And I'll do it again. Nice. <laughs> okay. Third time's the charm. Alright, so you're trying to remember specifically something that you can use for that. Something and I'm... fast that can get the guy with the gun as close as possible to the dragon before it has time to react. You have one of two options. If you don't want to use anything that's an animal that's flying, which there really isn't all that much that you have outside of the mounts that you have, if you don't want to use that, you do have a guy who's an expert on explosive things, so he may be able to fashion something similar to a rocket, or you can maybe try and search for a gnome engineer since they're known for doing things like that, although they aren't very common in these parts. Um, I'd like to ask... Our, our two liaisons to see if they know anything about maybe some gnomish tinkerers anywhere nearby. I'm always up for learning more about magic tinkering. Okay, Lorna points you over to Gregor since he's more of the people person. He kind of rubs his chin for a second as, he, as he's thinking about where you might be able to find a gnome. And as he's doing that, suddenly, you know, it's kind of like one of those moments where you see that light bulb just go off. And he, he says, Oi! I remember now. There is an old gnome engineer, and he lives at Fort Deathwing. It's right across from the Oasis. It's only a couple days away. That sounds perfect, honestly. Unless, does anybody else have any other ideas? I mean, we very clearly have to get through the dragon to get the princess over there, so anybody else? Do you want to find, like, an underground tunnel? Like Trying to tunnel under the forest is not a good idea. No, fuck it. Yeah, let's, let's do it. You want to dig a tunnel underneath the elven forest? Yeah, let's do it. If we go find the gnomish tinkerer, he might be able to build a digging machine or a flying machine or have something in between. Who the fuck knows? I will tell you this first off so that everybody stops arguing because this is something that at least Syra would know, is that even if you're not going to relay it to the others, is the elven forest is corrupted to the point where even the ground that the things grow out of is corrupted, which means if you're digging through that, you're going to have magic corruption that is going to slowly eat away at your soul and your sanity and eventually either kill or corrupt you. Cham, you're digging under a third of a continent. Well, we gotta dig those holes. Let's do it. You're you're going to kill yourselves. But if you would like to do it, you can. All assumption ahead, regardless of land, sea, air, whatever, we head for the gnome? Yes? Yeah! All right, Gregor, where the fuck do we go? Fort Deathwing is to the west of it. You gotta go down to a little peninsula. There's an old fort there. Hasn't been used in a long, long time since before the Black Scales showed up. But it's a nice little smithing town. There's an old gnome there. His name is Scrappy. And he might be able to give you a hand with what you want to do. Well, let's go. All right, so you guys are going to travel there. So you all hop up on your mounts. So... It's going to probably be a couple days ride to get to where you're going to be going. I'm going to roll to see if you run into anything along the way. That's a 12, so I'm going to say that's, that's low enough where uh, I'll say you run into something. Kermit, darling, if an old woman offers you something, please don't yell witch at her like our last jackass did. I feel like there's so much to dissect there, but okay. I mean, I, if, if you want me to be raw and honest... 
he missed out on a lovely time with a large silver dragon, and I'm pretty sure she was going to beg him. But he, he kept yelling witch at her. Be, be open-minded. I mean, your other frog friend just had a wonderful time with an elf. I heard about that. Nice. I'm just going to chuck a rock at her head. Roll for dexterity. Let's see that 18, kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, is not, that is not all right. So you 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 miss terribly, you miss terribly. You don't even you, you come nowhere close there. So the rock just zings by and zings by. I'm gonna be like, bitch. Basically, after about a day of traveling, you guys are going through the desert. It's hot out. I want everybody to roll a uh, a wisdom check. Kane is a 14. Arch is also 14. So you guys are all kind of in the same boat in terms of you all kind of rolled together. Basically what happens is you start seeing these these small shapes that are kind of in the desert heat. The sun is beating down so much that the air is kind of getting that wavy effect on it. So they're kind of hard to see. So, But you do see multiple hor- horses and they appear to be riding towards you. Um, do you think these are friends from earlier or is this a... Uh, you two disappear and I'll talk to them and hopefully you don't abandon me and leave me to die. Oh, funny thing you said that. I use invisibility. Yes, we already knew you were going to do that. You use invisibility. You are now invisible. However, your dragon is not. Um, as for you, shoot frog Kermit, right? Uh, do you want to go somewhere before they get here or are you going to be down here with me? Yeah, stay down here. I don't go. All right. Yeah, I don't run from things. All right. Kane, before we get into anything here, do you want to load any specific rounds up into your rifle? Nah, not yet. We don't know what's going to really be. Not the Fair special enough. one. That's the only thing I ask. Okay, I can definitely load the special one. No, not that one, please. Yeah, not not the Rust Monster one. You only got one of those. All right. I, I guess we'll wait for them to approach us. As you guys are going forward, the horse riders kind of get more and more into perspective. And as they reach you, it looks like they're some form of messengers. They have a sack of scrolls that's off the back of, the, of their horses, and they come up upon you. And, and as, as they get closer, they kind of just slow down a little bit and pull back. They're not really sure what the deal is, but you guys are kind of standing directly in front of them, so they're taking it as kind of you're blocking their way. What do you want? Get out of our way! All right. And she just kind of steps to the side. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. May I ask what what you're doing? These are dangerous lands to be traveling around. We are couriers, sir. We are couriers, and we have a a vital shipment of information that needs to go from west of Fort Deathwing all the way across the continent to Cape Fang. It's a long trip, bro. That is an excellent trip. That's right, Kermit. Um, That must have cost lots of money. Who charted such a trip? Well, we're, we're, we're currently doing this congritus since the uh, the Black Scales killed most of my friends. Oh, God. Oh, fantastic. Um, I tell you what. Would you care to have a, a, a quick kip and uh, maybe some food, water, anything like that? Anything to help the cause of fucking those dragons. Well, let's see. That's what we're doing here. Kite Fang is the last bastion of whatever's left of the old naval forces from the old nations. It's not much, but it's enough to form a small armada. Now that seems like an interesting concept. I do. Uh, Kermit, a word for a moment. Would do you think this would be more prevalent to our mission than the gnome? I'm still kind of heavy on the gnome, but maybe turning around and finding a naval force might not be terrible. I mean, I'd go either way. Having an arm is not a bad idea. Invisible jackass, what do you think? I'm just going to keep quiet. I'm going to be that dick right now. I am going to cast Invisibility Purge. 45 feet of just... And he just pops into existence. He's definitely within 45 feet of you. Okay, so you cast that, and uh, Cham, after a few seconds, you kind of, like, blink back into reality, and you can be seen now. I'm still going to be quiet. Exactly. There's gonna be there's gonna be a loud audible croak. Uh, are you gonna pretend that you're still invisible, or are you gonna? Do, oh fuck yeah, I am. I'm gonna pretend. Okay, okay, you're gonna pretend <laughs> you're still invisible. So you're just kind of doing your best, like secret agent man thing back there while they're still going on. Agent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And lean over, Kermit. Can you hit him with a stone from here? I think he thinks he's still invisible. 
Um, I can try. Brain damage might I not mean... be off the table yet. She hands him a stone, and before she hands it to him, she casts Magic Stone. It's literally a first level spell. It does 1d6, and it's a plus one to attack. Okay, so you're going to make it hit a little bit harder, and you're also going to get a plus one to the attack roll. So, Kane, I'm doing this as a basically a, a straight dex roll, so whatever your dex modifier is. This is perfect revenge for the bevy of rocks that were thrown at her earlier. How does the caravan look seeing us just acting like a bunch of shitheads? Yeah, they're just... It's kind of odd to find two frog kin and a necromancer wandering around. Shit. <laughs> oh. oh. Kane, you take that rock and you just... As you throw it, you just throw it immediately into the ground in front of you. Shit. I would like to say it like glows blue and it spikes like three inches into the ground. I'll give you that. That's oh, all he hears. Uh, so back to you on the horse. Um, so you're headed down to Cape Fang, and is there anything that we can do to help you? Well, you could not tell the black scales if you see them that we went this way. It would be very helpful in helping us not die. Oh, no, if we see any black scales, we're going to turn them inside out and make them eat their own assholes. You have no worries about that. Well, you seem to be a very proper woman. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Darling. Basically, they said no, but one of the things they do do is they give you one of the scrolls that is behind them. They said the scrolls are all copies uh, that they plan to deliver. So if they give you one, they still have all the others. All right. That sounds wonderful. Does anybody have any wounds or anything that you'd like me to treat before you head on your way? Well, Jimmy here did stub his toe yesterday. And Jimmy, Jimmy holds up his foot and there is a very visibly broken big toe. Cure minor wounds is a cantrip. I just touch him, just very gently poke it. All right, so you do that. So Jimmy's toe is magically healed. He thanks you very much and they give you your scroll and then they are on their way to Cape Fang. All right, I, I definitely want to check what's in the scroll. Okay, you open the scroll, and basically the scroll is a list of small naval ports that the Black Scales have established in what was formerly the Nexus lands, the islands that the kingdom owned, because m most of Nexus was a series of islands in the Southern Sea. And basically all of their old harbors have been decimated, but now the Black Scales have been rebuilding them over the last few months and turning them into ship ports to build new armadas when they eventually head north. So this lists all of those little ship ports so that maybe they could hit them in kind of hit and run tactics. So that that is that is your encounter that you, that, yeah, that you rolled for because those two guys then ran off. So you guys are going to continue on to Fort Deathwing, which you eventually show up to it and you fi find that, again, it looks kind of like a ruined fort. It, it has some outer walls that are kind of semi-destroyed and it looks kind of run down, but there are definitely still people inhabiting the buildings, people still living there. You don't readily see a gnome among any of them, so you're going to have to look around or ask around. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do a search check. Just go ask somebody if they've seen a gnome recently. I'm gonna start Fortnite dancing. Okay, so this is the way this is gonna work. So, Cham, you rolled a 14. You don't find a gnome. Instead, you find a dwarf, and the dwarf politely says that he's not a gnome and then leaves as Kane is doing the Fortnite twerk dance behind you. God damn it. Do, 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 uh, do, 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 <laughs> Gather information? Yeah? Uh, yeah. That could, that, that would be one. Hey! Nice. Damn! Okay. All right, so you walk up to a passerby in the street, and uh, you ask him if he knows of anybody that can help with any kind of engineering. He says that there is a gnome on the far side of town named Scrappy. Uh, he has a shop that should be pretty easy to find. It's really the only one that has a smokestack coming out of it because, again, it's sort of a pseudo-engineering shop slash Ford, so he has a lot going on in there. So he said that that's on the southern part of town, and you should be able to find him pretty easily if you look for that. So he also marks the location on your map in terms of the, the individual town, so you guys are going to be able to follow that. 